Hey there, you're looking kind of cute. Please consider subscribing and check out our Patreon for more. Enjoy the video. She bounded up the stairs to her room, bags bumping against her legs with every step. Once inside, she dumped everything out on the bed, taking a moment just to admire the riot of color and texture. With hands that shook only a little, Kylin reached for the first item that caught her eye, a gauzy lavender top with flutter sleeves. She pulled it on over her head, shivering at the whisper of fabric against her skin. The neck scooped low over her flat chest, bearing delicate collarbones. Next came a flowing crepe skirt in rich eggplant, the hem swishing around Kylon's calves as she stepped into it. She twisted this way and that in front of the mirror, watching the play of light over the sumptuous folds of cloth. She looked pretty, feminine, like a girl or the closest approximation she could manage with her angular, post-pubescent body. But Kylon was quickly realizing that clothes could go a long way toward bridging that gap, helping her outside match the delicate, tender creature within. Emboldened, she rummaged through the rest of her purchases, assembling outfit after outfit in an increasingly whimsical fashion. Ditzy floral prints and wispy fabrics, lush velvets and shimmering satins. Some combinations looked better than others, but they all made her feel beautiful in a way she never had before. It was intoxicating, addictive. By the time she'd exhausted her new wardrobe, the bedroom floor was strewn with discarded garments and Kylan was glowing with happiness. She couldn't stop smiling as she twirled in front of the mirror, admiring herself from every angle. Kylan, you doing okay up there, sweetie? Janet's voice floated up from downstairs, slightly muffled. Kaylin, startled, pulled from her reverie. Yeah, Mom, sorry, just lost track of time. I'll be right down. Hastily, she changed back into her boy clothes, carefully folding and putting away each precious new item. Then, with a final glance in the mirror, she scampered down to the living room where Janet was waiting. Her mom looked up with a smile as Kylan burst into the room, practically vibrating with excitement. There you are. I was starting to wonder if you'd fallen into Narnia or something. Kylan rolled her eyes fondly at the old joke, plopping down on the couch beside Janet. Sorry, I got a little carried away playing dress up. It's just, it's so much fun, Mom. I never knew clothes could make me feel this good. I'm so glad, honey, Janet said warmly, reaching out to smooth a hand over Kylon's rumpled curls. You deserve to feel good in your own skin. And if pretty clothes help with that, then I will buy you all the pretty clothes in the world. Kaylan flushed, pleasure and embarrassment mingling in her chest. I don't need that many. I mean, this is already way more than enough. I just thank you for all of this. You never need to thank me for loving you, Janet reminded her gently. But you're very welcome, sweetheart. I'm just so happy to see you embracing your truth. They lapsed into comfortable silence for a moment, Janet's fingers still carding soothingly through Kalan's hair. Then, tentatively, Kailan broke the quiet. Hey, Mom, do you think, could you maybe help me with makeup sometime? I got some at the drugstore, but I have no idea what I'm doing. Janet's face lit up with a mix of excitement and mischief. Ooh, a makeover. I thought you'd never ask. I have so many tricks to teach you, honey. We'll have you blending eyeshadow like a pro in no time. Kaylon grinned back, her mom's enthusiasm infectious. I can't wait, but maybe we should start with the basics, yeah? I don't want to end up looking like a clown on my first try. Fair enough, Janet allowed with a chuckle. Baby steps. We'll work our way up to the smoky eye. She hopped up from the couch, tugging Kailan with her. Come on, go grab your new makeup and meet me in my bathroom. We'll do a little test run before dinner. Kylan practically skipped up the stairs, giddy anticipation thrumming through her veins. This was really happening. She was going to learn how to do makeup, like a real girl. The thought made her want to squeal with delight. She collected her drugstore haul and scurried to her mom's room, where Janet was already laying out an array of brushes and compacts on the vanity. Kylan set her own meager selection beside them, suddenly feeling out of her depth. Janet noticed her hesitation and smiled reassuringly, patting the chair in front of her. 
Have a seat, sweetie. Let's see what we're working with here. Kailan perched on the edge of the chair, watching in the mirror as Janet sorted through the makeup with a practiced eye. This is a good starter kit, she praised, setting aside foundation, blush, and a neutral eyeshadow palette. You've got all the basics covered. Under Janet's patient tutelage, Kaylin learned how to apply each product, blending and buffing until her skin looked smooth and glowing. She marveled at the difference a little concealer and highlighter could make, the way a pop of shimmery shadow made her eyes look brighter and more feminine. There, Janet declared some time later, setting down the lip gloss with a flourish. What do you think, honey? How do you feel? Slowly, Kylan turned to face her reflection head on. Her breath caught at the sight that greeted her. The girl in the mirror was undeniably pretty, all dewy skin and softly flushed cheeks. Her eyes looked huge and luminous above lush, darkened lashes, her lips plump and glossy. She looked like herself. Like Kailan, the secret self she'd always carried close to her heart but never dared to show the world. Tears stung her eyes, blurring her visin. Mom, she whispered, reaching up with trembling fingers to touch her face, half convinced the illusion would shatter. Is that... Is that really me? It is, Janet confirmed, her own voice thick with emotion. That's my gorgeous girl right there. Kaylan let out a shaky laugh, the tears spilling over to trail down her cheeks. She turned to throw her arms around Janet's waist, burying her face in her stomach. Thank you, she mumbled into the soft fabric of her shirt. Thank you so much. Janet held her close, rocking her gently. You never have to thank me, she repeated, pressing a kiss to the crown of Kaylin's head. I'm just so glad you're letting yourself shine, baby. You've always been my perfect girl, inside and out. They stayed like that for a long moment, just breathing each other in. Then Janet gave Kailan a final squeeze and released her, dabbing at her own damp eyes. Okay, enough mushy stuff, she declared with a watery chuckle. It's getting late and we both need to eat. What do you say we order a pizza and have a girl's night in? We can do manny patties and watch sappy movies. Yes, please, Kailan agreed fervently her heart soaring at the easy inclusion of herself in the feminine ritual. Can I pick the movie? I'm feeling the Princess Diaries, or maybe she's the man. Ooh, good choices, Janet approved. Why don't you go set up the TV room while I call in the pizza order? I'll even let you have extra cheesy bread. Kylan grinned, hopping up to press a quick kiss to Janet's cheek. Best mom ever. I'll grab the nail polish on my way down. As promised, Janet ordered a pizza loaded with toppings and extra cheesy bread, Kylan's favorite. While they waited for it to arrive, Kaylin queued up The Princess Diaries on Netflix and gathered all her new nail polishes, spreading them out on the coffee table in a rainbow of glossy colors. Janet joined her a few minutes later, settling onto the couch with a contented sigh. Pizza's on its way, she reported, reaching for a bottle of shimmery pink polish. Shall we get started on our manis while we wait? Kailan nodded eagerly, selecting a soft lilac shade for herself. They chatted and giggled as they painted, comparing techniques and admiring each other's handiwork. By the time the pizza arrived, their nails were done and the opening credits of the movie were rolling. They dug in with gusto, Kailan savoring every gooey, cheesy bite. There was something so perfect about this moment, curled up on the couch with her mom, wearing pretty clothes and makeup, just being girls together. It filled a deep, aching need she hadn't even fully recognized until now. As the movie played, Kailan found herself getting lost in the story, relating to Mia's awkward fumbling towards self-acceptance and femininity. She laughed and cried in all the right places, feeling a bone-deep kinship with the clumsy, bespectacled princess. By the time the credits rolled, Kailan was drowsy and content, her belly full of pizza and her heart full of warmth. Janet smiled fondly as she yawned, reaching out to tuck a stray curl behind her ear. Bedtime for you, I think, she murmured, giving Kailan's shoulder a gentle squeeze. We can clean up in the morning. 
Kylon hummed in agreement, levering herself off the couch and stumbling toward the stairs. Night, Mom, she called over her shoulder, stifling another yawn. Love you. Love you too, sweetheart, Janet replied, her voice brimming with affection. Sweet dreams. And they were sweet, filled with visions of twirling skirts and glittering tiaras, of being called Miss and She, and finally, finally, feeling seen. Kylan slept more deeply and peacefully than she had in months, secure in her mother's love and support. The next few months passed in a blissful haze of self-discovery and bonding for Kylan and Janet. Shopping trips and makeover sessions became a regular weekend ritual, each one leaving Kylan feeling a little more comfortable and confident in her femininity. She started small at first, wearing her new clothes and makeup only at home or on outings with her mom. But gradually, as her wardrobe expanded and her skills with cosmetics improved, she began venturing out in public more and more as Kailan. The first time she wore a dress to the grocery store, Kailan was sure her thundering heartbeat must be audible to everyone in the checkout line. But aside from a few curious glances, no one paid her any special attention. The cashier even called her Miss as she handed over the receipt, making Kailan flush with shy pleasure. After that, it was easier to find little ways to express her true self in the wider world. A pretty blouse peeking out from under her boy clothes, a swipe of lip gloss or a coat of mascara, even on days she was presenting mail. Each tiny, subversive act felt like a revelation, a reclaiming of some long-denied part of her soul. And through it all, Janet was there, offering encouragement and gentle guidance as Kylan navigated the thrills and challenges of social transition. She fielded prying questions from neighbors with breezy nonchalance, never once faltering in her unwavering acceptance of Kylan's identity. People will always talk, she said with a shrug when Kailan fretted over the gossip her changes were sure to generate. Let them. All that matters is that you feel happy and authentic in your own skin. The rest is just noise. Bolstered by her mom's steadfast support, Kailan grew bolder in her presentation until the line between boy days and girl days began to blur into irrelevance. She was Kailan all the time now, at least in spirit, and that knowledge settled something deep in her chest. Still, as much progress as she was making socially, Kaylin couldn't help but feel frustrated by the limitations of her pre-transition body. No matter how femme her clothes or skilled her makeup, there were some aspects of her appearance that stubbornly refused to align with her inner self. So it was with a mix of trepidation and soaring hope that she broached the subject of medical transition with Janet one evening, as they sat together on the porch swing, watching the sunset. Mom? She began hesitantly, picking at a loose thread on her sundress. Can I... can I ask you something? Of course, honey, Janet replied, setting down her iced tea and giving Kylan her full attention. What's on your mind? Kylan took a deep breath, trying to calm the sudden racing of her heart. I've been thinking a lot lately. About... About the future, my future as a girl. Janet nodded encouragingly, reaching out to take Kaylin's hand and give it a reassuring squeeze. Okay, and what are you thinking, sweetheart? I think, Kaylin swallowed hard, forcing the words past the lump in her throat. I think I might want to start hormones. There was a beat of silence, Janet's eyes widening slightly before her face broke into a brilliant smile. Oh, Kaylin! Are you sure, honey? That's a big step. Kaylin nodded, a shaky laugh escaping her. I'm sure. I mean, I'm nervous, obviously. But, but I've never been more certain of anything in my life. I'm a girl, Mom, inside and out. And I'm ready for my outside to start matching my inside. Janet made a soft sound, her eyes shining with unshed tears as she tugged Kailan into a tight hug. My brave, beautiful girl, she murmured into her hair, rocking them gently. I am so unbelievably proud of you. Do you know that? So proud and so, so honored to be your mom. Kailan clung to her,
burying her face in the crook of Janet's neck as relief and gratitude and love washed over her in a heady rush. I couldn't do this without you, she whispered, voice cracking. Any of it. You make me feel... feel seen and safe, like I can be myself no matter what. You can, Janet promised fiercely, tipping Kylan's chin up to look her in the eye. You always can. There is nothing in this world that could make me love you any less or see you as anything other than the incredible daughter you are. I will move heaven and earth to help you live as your truest self, Kaylin. I hope you know that. I do, Kaylan managed, the words thick and wobbly. I really, really do. They stayed there on the porch until long after the sun had set and the fireflies had risen just holding each other and letting the momentous decision settle. There would be logistics to figure out, Kylan knew. Doctor's visits, prescriptions, a whole new learning curve. But she felt ready, excited even, to face it all with her mom by her side. The next morning, Janet was on the phone with Kylan's pediatrician before she'd even finished her coffee, securing a referral to an endocrinologist who specialized in transgender youth. They made an appointment for the following week, Kylan jiggling her leg nervously as Janet filled out endless intake forms in the waiting room. But the doctor was kind and patient, taking the time to explain all of Kylan's options and listen to her hopes and concerns. By the end of the visit, they'd settled on a regimen of estrogen and testosterone blockers, designed to feminize her body over time. Kylan's hands shook as she filled the prescription at the pharmacy, staring down at the little amber bottles like they held the secrets of the universe. In a way, she supposed they did. The key to unlocking her truest self, her most authentic existence. That night, Janet helped her take her first dose, both of them tearing up a little as Kaylan swallowed the pills with a sip of water. It felt strange and momentous and utterly, utterly right, like puzzle pieces slotting into place. How do you feel? Janet asked softly, brushing a stray tear from Kailan's cheek with the pad of her thumb. Kailan leaned into the touch, turning her face to press a kiss to her mom's palm. Hopeful, she whispered, closing her eyes against the sudden swell of emotion in her chest. Really really hopeful. In the weeks and months that followed, Kaylan marveled at the subtle changes taking place in her body as the hormones worked their magic. Her skin grew softer and smoother, her features gentler and more feminine. The curves she'd always longed for began to take shape, hips and breasts blossoming like flowers seeking the sun. She reveled in each new development, spending hours in front of the mirror cataloging every shift and metamorphosis. Some changes were more welcome than others. The redistribution of body fat was a revelation, the loss of muscle mass and strength a little harder to adjust to, but all of them felt like progress, like becoming. You know, sweetheart, I was thinking it might be nice to have a little celebration soon, a coming out party of sorts. We could invite some close friends and family, Maybe have a little ceremony to honor your true name and identity. What do you think? Kailan blinked, taken aback by the suggestion. A party? For her? The idea was as daunting as it was appealing. I don't know, she hedged, worrying the hem of her skirt between her fingers. Do you really think people would come? I mean, I'm not exactly... I know this is a lot for some folks to wrap their heads around. Anyone who truly loves and supports you will be there, Janet said firmly, her tone brooking no argument. And anyone who can't get on board, well, that's their loss, not yours. You have nothing to be ashamed of, Kylan. Nothing at all. Slowly, Kailan nodded, a small smile tugging at her lips as she let her mom's words sink in. She was right, of course. Coming out was scary, but it was also liberating a chance to embrace her truth and invite others to embrace it too. Okay, she agreed, feeling a flutter of excitement in her belly. Okay, yeah, let's do it. A coming out party sounds really nice, actually. 
Janet beamed, pulling her into a quick, exuberant hug. Oh, honey, this is going to be so wonderful. We'll make it a real celebration of you and all the amazing things you are. I'm so excited. Her enthusiasm was infectious, and soon they were both grinning like loons as they began to brainstorm ideas for the party. Kaylin felt lighter than she had in ages, buoyed by her mother's unwavering belief in her. There was still so much uncertainty ahead, she knew. So many challenges and obstacles to navigate as she continued on this path of self-discovery and transformation. But with Janet by her side, and a growing sense of joy and purpose in her own heart, Kaylin knew she could face anything. Every day, in a thousand little ways, she was blooming into her truest, most authentic self. And that was something worth celebrating, now and always. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out Patreon for a lot more content and early access to YouTube videos.